Hey there guys, welcome to this new series of uh, videos that I'm going to be starting here. They're going to be part of the Total War Rome 2 Online Battles videos, uh, but these are going to be more focused towards showing you guys some interesting builds for factions that you might not really see a lot, uh, or that might be a little bit interesting or have uh, some sort of an edge, uh, as opposed to just showing you uh, battles with uh, balanced builds, just to add a little bit of spice. Uh, this uh, one over here, uh, the Egyptian Fear Tactic Using Army, it's going to showcase uh, two things. First, it's going to showcase that shock cavalry are very, very strong. Uh, and that if you spam swords against shock cavalry, you are going to have a bad time, especially if you are at a disadvantage in a held position or your formation is not solid enough and you don't activate that shield wall. That also tells you that when you have kind of sword... Um, units and a lot of sword units and you don't kind of bring spears that you could be susceptible to a lot of shock cavalry charges anyway i'm not gonna be too long go ahead and watch the rest of the video and uh, enjoy today i am showing you a unique uh fear-based skirmish build for egypt and uh, this build is to deal with factions that are going to be uh, heavy on the swords. So when you play against factions like the Barbarian factions, or maybe even a Rome player that doesn't bring a lot of elephants and Triarii, is going to be in a lot of trouble when he faces this Egyptian army here. Now, this build um, is just like uh, the skirmish build that you would bring, let's say, for uh, Parthia. Uh, if you play with Parthia, you bring five cataphracts, you bring maybe three noble horses, you bring... Uh, two elephants and you'd bring uh, some horse archers uh, but this build relies on um, its mobility and the ability to attack your opponent quickly uh, so uh, it's on Carthago and uh, for um, unfortunately the map is foggy um, but <laughs> the um, you might say you know the fog or uh, the weather effects might uh, affect these camel archers seven camel archers now as it stands, this isn't very tournament safe, guys. Uh, but if you do remove one of these camels and bring another kind of uh, skirmish cav unit that has uh, the ability whistling arrows, uh, I don't know if Egypt has another one, but if you can't, you can uh, maybe take one of these guys out and then another uh, uh, cav and maybe downgrade one of your elephants to uh, kind of fit the money in. Uh, so the army is composed of six Ptolemaic cav, seven of the camel riders, Two of these armored elephants over here, uh, each one is stationed on the flanks, and then three units of these light cavalry. These guys are very, very important for this build. Now, I'm playing on the Carthago now, so my opponent doesn't really see my army, but actually, for most of the battles uh, where you play um, on Rome 2, the maps are quite small. Uh, so what you want to do with your army is, uh, you want uh, what do you want to do with your light cav, is you want to use your light cav in this style, uh, in a way to stop your opponent from advancing and stop your opponent from realizing exactly what kind of army he's dealing with or she's dealing with so i'm going to be now rushing uh, these light cav towards my opponent now this map makes this uh, approach kind of even more effective because it's carthago but um you know as i said in a lot of maps for uh, forests and uh, uh line of sight exists and you can use it and so look at this my opponent was going for the hill he's swebby uh, let's go ahead and before I charge into him, just pause a little bit just to kind of look at his army and what kind of bl uh, b uh, build he's brought. Uh, I think I was playing against someone from the HM clan. Uh, I'm not sure who I was facing. Uh, but his army is a sword heavy barbarian build. Uh, he's a little bit heavy on the skirmish because he did face, uh, he, he did come up against Egypt. Uh, Egypt is a very good skirmish faction actually on the ground and uh, on uh, camelback <laughs> as it were. Uh, he's got some of these sword masters, and look, he's also uh, brought some of these club levies uh, and some berserkers as well. And I think he just brought these uh, club levies to be able to either throw them away at, you know, uh, my flanks, or maybe protect his rear from uh, getting charged directly uh, from a heavy cav or, you know, or a cam kind of a an hammer and anvil charge. He does have some noble riders, and um, his general is among them. So, what I'm going to do is, look, I'm just going to run my uh, light cav into his longbow hunters this light cab unit costs 500 this longbow hunter unit costs about um, how much was it about the same um, but I'm going to be able to do damage uh, so you know kind of do an even trade with my opponent 
and at the same time, I'm going to distract my opponent. So now I'm sending the other force. Uh, at this point, my opponent actually still can't see my army in this battle. In other battles, I'd be rushing my army forward. He would see it, but he still wouldn't be able to react. Look how I'm using one of my light calves to pull away his noble uh, horse uh, from the from the fight. I'm gonna keep these guys going as far as I can, and then I'm gonna stop them. I'm gonna let them die. Um, and then uh, he, why am I gonna let them die? Because he's gonna stay there and he's gonna fight them for a while. That's gonna keep them away. And then look, I charge the other one into his units. These units are throwaway. I don't really need them to do the damage. I need them to do the distraction. And now that my opponent has pretty much, uh, he's kind of kept his formation, but look, his guys aren't kind of uh, uh, aligned properly. Uh, he's uh, at a bad hill position. Uh, his cav is isolated. And now here comes my camel archers. And my camel archers are just going to stand there and shoot for now. Uh, and the first wave of uh, attack is going to be this trample charge from six units of Tomei Cav. Slam into the face of those infantry units coming down the hill. They're going to come from the middle. Um, I'm going to send some in uh, at the flank to charge. He's going to intercept with his noble riders. Things are going pretty well for me. Look at the damage we've done to some of these units, guys. 91 here, 27 here, 90. Look at that. A lot of kills on the Ptolemy Cavalry. But there is two more elements to this build, guys, that makes it so effective. So right now, it's not actually looking too good for me. Um, he can just reinforce. His infantry is starting to stabilize. My camel archers still standing there, still shooting, not really doing anything. And notice how I'm going to start to turn them around just in case here. I'm turning them around because they can fire behind their backs and they don't really need to um, face the enemy in, in, in this particular moment. And now here comes uh, the second almost final um, element to this build and that's a trample charge from two of these armored elephants that come in late to the battle. That's going to kill morale and at the same time we start doing whistling arrows on these camel archers guys. So we're doing uh, the fear from the elephants, the fear from the camels towards the horses. We're doing whistling arrows. We're doing a trample charge from both horse units and elephant units. And that is going to shatter your opponent. Uh, his sword units are not going to be able to really do anything in the face of your Egyptian uh, army, guys. So you can see here, uh, I think this uh, unit actually uh, died in the battle. Uh, but the, 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 uh, the battle is a little bit corrupt. But you see the point. Uh, I'm just going to rush here with the remainder of my uh, army and just kind of clean up uh, my opponent's uh, lines here. So the thing to consider with this army, guys, is that it behaves just like any kind of normal army, but it substitutes all of its components with mobile ones. So for example, my Ptolemaic Cav, they are my Galatians. My uh, Horse Archers, they're my Rhodian Slingers. And my Cavalry, they're my Ptolemaic Cav with my, uh, 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 you know, my Light Cav being uh, the thing that allows me to kind of get in position and pincer my opponent. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Give it a try. Practice around with uh, or play around with fear armies. Any faction with, uh, you know, something that can shoot and that has whistling arrows and maybe an animal effect or maybe some druids might be uh, cool. Play around with those things, guys, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun with these fear armies. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.